A business analyst is actually a data analyst that have a PSC in business administration or any business related course, right? This is what people think whenever they hear about the word business analyst or business analysis and I'm here to tell you that that is actually wrong. In today's video, I'll be telling you the difference between three popular tech fields and that is the difference between data analyst, business analyst and business intelligence analyst. I would be using five main key points to actually tell the difference between these three fields and that is going to be definition, the roles, the tools they use, their domain knowledge and certifications. So without further ado, let's dissect these three fields properly. So the first question we have at hand is, who is a data analyst? A data analyst is actually someone that actually extracts data from a specific resource, uh, clean this data set and perform analysis on this data set in order to solve a real life problem or draw out conclusion from this data set. A business analyst on the other hand is actually someone that uses business data to make sure that an organization or a business meets its primary goals and the business is running efficiently. A business intelligence analyst is actually someone that uses tech skills and other mathematical skills to extract insight from business data in order to solve actual business problems. So basically, uh, we have four roles that defines a data analyst. We can have several roles from those four roles, but basically, there are actually four roles. We have what we call the data collection, we have the data cleaning, we have the data analysis, and then we have the data visualization. The data collection is actually the first step in which a data analyst must actually go through before you can perform any data analysis. You know, this is where you collect your sample data from your population data. And the next step after having your data is to actually clean your data set. Most of the data sets that data analysts come across is actually most times dirty, meaning they are actually missing values, they are duplicates, and just to mention a few errors attached to the data set. So your job as a data analyst is to actually clean this data set and make sure that the data set is actually ready for proper analysis and the next step after cleaning your data set is to perform the main analysis this can actually go as far as saying descriptive analysis exploration analysis uh inferential analysis predictive analysis just to mention a few after performing all the necessary analysis it's time for you to now tell your story to the layman in the simplest term available and this is where the concept of data visualization comes inside so in this case you're going to be telling the story about your data set about the conclusion that you made about the insights that you could get from your data sets using basic tools such as the bar chart, the pie chart, the histogram, just to mention a few. And this is the concept of data visualization. A business analyst on the other hand is actually interested in making sure that the business is running efficiently and the business is also meeting its main goals. So basically the main goal of a business is to maximize profits and minimize costs. And the goal of a business analyst is to make sure that the business meets this goal by using uh, the business data. Some of the roles of a business analyst includes project and product management. This is actually a very important skill that a business analyst must have. Business analysis and forecasting, that is a business analyst must be able to actually forecast and look into the future, planning and monitoring, various analysis, pricing and reports, outlining problems, creating efficient business models. Just to mention a few, a BIA is going to be performing the same step that a data analyst will actually perform. That is, it's going to collect raw data, but this time it's going to be a raw business data. It's going to like clean this business data. It's going to perform the necessary analysis on this business data and then also visualize this business data. So definitely the rules of a business intelligence analyst still goes down to data collection, uh, data cleaning, data analysis and data visualization just in the business context. So let's start with the tools that data analysts use and we have a couple of them. Uh, number one is actually Microsoft Excel. So basically uh, Microsoft Excel is actually uh, a spreadsheet that can actually do a whole lot of things. It can be used for data management, it can be used to perform a bit of data analysis, uh, data cleaning and uh, some parts of statistical analysis. We have SQL which is actually a tool for extracting uh, information from relational database. We also have Python, we have R, we have W, 
and we also have power bi a business analyst on the other hand actually make use of some couple of um tools such as power bi or tableau for creating beautiful dashboards we have pencil which is used for modeling and programming specific decision model uh, we have rike we have jira we have asana we have slack we have notion all of these are actually project management tools which include features like live editing and file management schedule timing programming workload view and project management we also have oracle net suite which is actually used for enterprise resource planning these are some of the tools that business analysts actually use business intelligence analysts on the other hand are actually going to be using some of the tools that a data analyst can actually use that includes um, using tools like sql power bi tableau python r excel and so much more now the domain knowledge you see, uh, a data analyst can actually work in a whole lot of fields. You can name it either in the finance field, uh, the science field, the engineering field, the public health field. You know, so the domain knowledge that a data analyst actually need is going to be based on the type of data sets that the data analyst is actually going to work with. Are you giving uh, me a data analyst uh, a public health data? So that means I have to like try to have a little domain knowledge about the public health sector. Are you giving me a data set regarding the finance sector? So definitely I will have to have a basic knowledge in the finance sector. So a data analyst does not really have a specific domain knowledge. A data analyst must actually have a knowledge based on the type of data set that was actually given to them. A business analyst on the other hand is going to be having a lot of knowledge when it comes to business administration how to run a business properly and the most important part is going to be project and product management this is a very key domain knowledge that a business analyst must actually have a business intelligence analyst on the other hand is going to be having a domain knowledge that is split between uh, data analysis and business analysis so that means uh, domain knowledge such as computer science mathematics and uh, product management business administration financial analysis and a bit of accounting too is also kind of needed for uh, a business intelligence analyst so certifications to become a certified data analyst we have a couple of certifications by some institutions and a couple of the big tech companies we have certifications from amazon which is the aws certified data analytics we have the certifications from google we have the certification from microsoft we have certifications from coursera and some of the top universities such as harvard uh, mit just to mention a few to get certified as a business analyst i think there is this course by cambridge uh, business analytics that you can actually take and once you take that course you'll be a certified business analyst we also have this iba certification which is actually a business analyst course so for business intelligence analyst any company that actually gives you certifications for business analysts will probably and will definitely be able to give you certifications for uh, business intelligence analysis so in summary uh, the business intelligence analysis actually uh, a fusion between the field of business analysis and data analysis and this is just the beauty of the tech space if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new from this video i would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this youtube channel if you want to know how much math you need for data analysis and data science you can actually check a video right here that I have for you and if you want to see some of the playlists on data visualization I have a series of videos for you right here that you can also check out we'll see you in the next one peace out